This week on the show, we have bioenergetics practitioner Lisa Marie Keegan. Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about the importance of understanding that you and you alone are responsible for your life. So often, we wait for things to happen for us or someone to motivate us. We wait to get our big break. We wait for circumstances to be perfect. We wait for things to be ideal or to have enough money before we do the things we've always wanted to do. But the reality is, no one is coming to save you. No one is going to put in the hard work that is required or is responsible for motivating you on a daily basis. Successful people take responsibility for their lives and understand that it's up to them and them alone to cultivate positive habits, be proactive in every area of their life, and do the hard work required to make their dreams a reality. The moment we're able to take complete responsibility for our lives is the moment we become the creators of our own destiny. As Alana Hurt quotes, it is only when you take responsibility for your life that you discover how powerful you truly are. Stay tuned, coming up after the break. Uh, so let's talk about how the scan works with your voice because I thought that was very interesting that you were able to scan my voice to get the results. Right, so that is a newer feature of the Nest system. Uh, Traditionally, this is the original um, scanner. It looks like a mouse. You hook it up to a computer, you put your hand on it, and that will read your energy field. The voice scan is wonderful because you, I can work with people at a distance, a anywhere in the world, and they can do this scan from the comfort of their home or your home and get the same information you would with a physical scanner. So everything in your body and your voice equally has frequencies and an energy field. So the same way that you can put your hand on a scanner and it reads your body field, mm -hmm. your voice has the same frequencies. Wardrobe provided by H&M. Next on the show, we have bioenergetics practitioner, Lisa Marie Keegan. Lisa, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? Doing great, how are you, Darielle? I'm doing very, very well. I'm so excited to talk to you. We've been planning this for a while, so it's nice to finally have you on the show. Likewise, likewise. Thank you for having me. So let's talk a little bit about your background and bioenergetics. It's a very interesting topic. So tell us what it is. And sure. Well, uh, bioenergetics is basically, in very simple terms, the study of the uh, of energy in human and otherwise living systems. And so Bioenergetics and Nest Health, which is the company that I work with, um, has developed a system that you can uh, go in and get a, a read on your body field in relation to your uh, biochemistry and take a look at your health challenges and energy levels and a, a lot of different things. So that's basically what Bioenergetics is about. Mm -hmm. Um, my background, I work and have worked a lot in education and years ago uh, began working with students teaching foreign language um, that had a lot of learning disabilities, ADHD, dyslexia, so on and so forth. So about 18 years ago, I set out to understand what that was all about and try to help them uh, heal from those uh, challenges. And a lot of the work that I have been doing is around sound healing. Mm -hmm frequency healing of the brain to help it function better, basically, and then help the kids overcome whatever challenging challenges they were having uh, to become successful in school and in, in life in general. So that's my background um, that kind of led into this work. Mm -hmm. And I know you had a personal experience that led you into bioenergetics. Um, I did see some drastic before and after pictures. So tell us uh, a little bit about that. Sure, sure. So I'd always been very healthy, healthy habits. I very conscientious about um, 
food and supplements and exercise, just always very aware. And uh, about 2015, at a place that I was working, I had a severe black mold exposure. Oh. And I didn't really realize that that existed or could possibly be an issue. So, mm. you know, just it started with a lot of sinus issues and uh, headaches and things like that. Um, but ultimately, I left that location and the health challenges didn't go away. It wasn't severe. It was more allergy related and and uh, I became a lot more reactive, I guess you could say, to my environment. Um, but I continued to have ongoing issues with fatigue and other things. But, you know, low level, I was able to work and continue with my life and exercise and so on. And about 2017 or 18, my health started to drastically uh, deteriorate. And I woke up one morning. Um, after I think I was doing Bikram yoga and I had taken this really long walk and I had shooting pain all over my body and my head, my shoulders, my neck. And I had no idea what was happening. Um, so I did what most people do. You call a doctor, you run tests. Um, and I did everything from blood work to MRIs, CAT scans. Um, I went to probably, I think I stopped counting at 25, but 25 wow. professionals. Yeah, everything from you know, allopathic medicine, uh, neurologists, and so on, to acupuncture, naturopathy, functional medicine. And finally, I really didn't get any answers, and my symptoms were managed, but I really wanted to get to the bottom of what was happening. And everyone I went to said, you know, it's how you're holding your cell phone, or stress, mm. or, but we never really got to the bottom of it. So. Um, I think I had spent probably over $30,000 at that point and wow. was worried that I wouldn't be able to work anymore, which was, and, and have my quality of life. Mm -hmm. And so I contacted a practitioner who, um, several hours away, and made an appointment to do some meridian testing. And in that particular approach, this person found a, a series of issues that didn't show in blood work. Uh, Lyme disease, um, I had eventually had issues with Epstein-Barr, the mold exposure, heavy metals, candida. I mean, wow. just the whole hip and sink of, yeah. yeah. And I wasn't quite sure how all of that happened. Um, but I started to do some homeopathic and energy treatments um, with Nest Health and my health began to turn around. Um, at that point, I didn't really understand what this was, but I had run out of options and was mm -hmm. pretty desperate. And I've always been open-minded, but quantum physics and all, this was all new to me. And I thought, you know, I don't understand it, but if it works, mm -hmm. that's all mm -hmm. I care about. And so as I continued to improve, uh, and we had family members that were having struggles. And anyways, at that point, I just decided that you know, I, I asked myself the question, you know, why why don't we have the tools and the ability to take care of ourselves and heal ourselves in these situations? And if I had, if anything that I had done had worked, I would have probably stopped there. If I had found an herb or a yeah. supplement, uh, but nothing worked. So I decided to dedicate my time to learning about this approach and eventually helping others because I really feel that it saved my life and I do feel uh, committed to helping other people so that they don't have to suffer the way that that I did because there are solutions and they're not always easy to find so that's really what led me to the work but branching from the frequency healing uh, of with the kids that was where I began to say you know if I can help a child heal his or her brain with frequencies I wonder if I can heal my body with energy and frequencies and that that's where I initially got the idea from and then it kind of grew from there. And what kind of distortions or energy blocks are typically found in the body's master control system and how does trauma and stress affect these areas? Good question. Okay. So that was one of the questions that I had initially when I got sick because I knew I had had some environmental exposures. I knew that I was stressed. Now it wasn't a bad stress. It was, you know, building a house, going to school, working full time, uh, life in general. I mean, any one of those things can be a little bit much and I was doing all of it. So in hindsight, I can see my role in, in, in that piece. Um, I also had a 
considerable amount of trauma in the past that for a period of time I wasn't aware of. And later in life, I discovered that one of my parents was not my biological parent. Oh. And yeah, that um, plot twist, uh, as I like to call it, really uh, created a good amount of stress and trauma for a period of time. And I wasn't quite sure what role that played in my health. I sort of knew that it did, but then I wasn't really sure what to do about it. So the first scan that I did on the mind-body screen, the mind-body screen can pick up trauma, not only traumas that you're aware of or can remember, but in early life, if you talk about ACEs and early childhood experiences, it goes back to the womb. And for many people, ancestral imprinting can come up as well. So energy patterns, throughout the generation. So mm -hmm. the mind body screen will pick up those emotions. And what came up for me was abandonment, was a, which is a pretty powerful thing for me yeah. to see. Mm -hmm. But I felt very validated because I, I knew that there was, was something there, but it felt more like it was imprinted in my body and not my brain because I didn't have memories around a lot of what happened. And so um, mind body is huge. Um, when you look at the Chinese meridians, if you you know have any experience with acupuncture, that is what acupuncture is based on and releasing energy blockages. So this system is based, the technology on uh, quantum physics, acupuncture, Chinese meridians and quantum physics. It's a series of sciences brought together um, so that we can learn how these energy systems are working in our body. And so what you can see, for example, is in the liver meridian, you can see maybe a blockage or an imbalance, and that can be due to toxins or you know, the emotion that's stored in the liver is anger. So people may yeah. have some suppressed anger about things going on in their life or things that have happened that most of our programming is subconscious. So we don't even really day to day think about a lot of these things. They're just rolling around in there creating our energy imbalances and at times faulty belief systems. And so when you do the scan, it will look at all of your organ systems, the energy levels, the energy flow, uh, how you're interacting with your environment. Mm -hmm. um, you're in Toronto, I'm in New England. Mm -hmm. We're not outside at the beach barefoot, you know, mm -hmm. in the winter. So we're not getting the grounding, the earth's frequencies, oftentimes not enough fresh air, sunshine. So those things will come up. Mm -hmm. And there are infraceuticals for that, and I'll talk about those in a moment, but you also have lifestyle awareness. So mm -hmm. if movement or hydration comes up, then I have a conversation with a client around, are you hydrating, are you exercising, and maybe make some positive changes. So that is just a sample of some of the more basic things that the scan can read. You also have uh, a screen with chakra blockages and you can see which one of your chakras may be imbalanced or blocked life journey so there's a lot around belief systems and emotions that will come up that you can look at and rebalance so that you're really living your best life and not getting in your own way and sabotage sabotaging your own success mm -hmm. so there's quite a lot there. there's quite a lot there i like that as a mind body approach right because there's definitely a correlation between mind and body. And even for me, if I'm stressed uh, or if I feel a certain way, it, it shows up in your body, right? You, you might get yeah. a stomach ache, you get a headache, um, but it's really because of your emotion. So I like that approach to mind and body. Um, and I did get a chance to get a bioenergetic scan. Uh, we did get my results. Uh, so let's talk about how the scan works with your voice, because I thought that was very interesting that you were able to scan my voice to get the results. Right. So that is a newer feature of the Nest system. Uh, traditionally, this is the original um, scanner. It looks like a mouse. You hook it up to a computer, you put your hand on it, and that will read your energy field. The voice scan is wonderful because you, I can work with people at a distance anywhere in the world, and they can do the scan from the comfort of their home or your home and get the same information you would with a physical scanner. So everything in your body and your voice equally has frequencies and an energy field. So the same way that you can put your hand on a scanner and it reads your body field, mm -hmm. your voice has the same frequencies. And mm -hmm. so that's how we're able to do it. 
Mm. And for our viewers to better understand, I want to walk through each category because I know there's uh, the scan evaluates nutrition, emotion, energy. So let's walk walk us through through each category and how it works. Okay, so the energy source, strength, and flow uh, are what I had just mentioned around how you interact with the environment. Are you getting enough sunshine? Is not only are you hydrated enough, is your body able to process hydration? and what might be happening there if, if you know, there's a, a blockage. Uh, that particular screen, I'm sorry, I've got to refer over here, that also looks at uh, sleep. Mm. You know, how, how are you sleeping? Are you getting quality sleep, uh, oxygenation? Uh, when you talk about stress, I don't know if you do this, but a lot of people don't breathe. And they yeah. go through the day holding their breath and all of a sudden they'll gasp and it's, they don't even realize that they're not breathing. Yeah. And so, um, that is a very, I mean, oxygen and, and sunshine, those are two of the fundamental things that we need just to stay alive and stay healthy. So this is, it's really about, it's not a diagnostic. It's about where you're out of balance and then what you can do to get your energy field back into balance. And just to mention this, um, your body field really is the key component to your biochemistry. So often when we go to the doctor, when we look at uh, healing ourselves, we're looking at a biochemical process, supplements or nutrition or medication. What this process does is it looks at your body field so that you're getting correct messaging and clearing those blockages. So whatever you choose to do to manage your health, it's most efficiently used by the body. Um, if you have an issue with hydration and you have toxins in your body or you have an issue with heavy metals, that will impede your ability to absorb nutrients, for example. And so again, that, that's another component. Um, the mind-body screen is, we can see uh, previous trauma, we can see day-to-day -day stress, or uh, the infraceutical chill is about long-term stress. So you could be doing great day-to-day, -day, but you may have some older issues that are kind of lingering and distorting your energy field. And so, um, that will come up as well. Um, there's a screen called Energy Rejuvenator mm -hmm. and it shows a human body and then there are points on it and that's where your energy blocks are. And so the infraceuticals help to clear those blockages. Uh, we also have uh, a device called a My Health with frequency healing treatments and it, and it looks like this. Mm -hmm. just booting up now and there are different programs in here to go in and address those particular points you have a mind screen and the options are uh, emotional stress release mental clarity inner peace chill love for example and so you can just use this machine and give yourself energy treatments to clear those um, blockages um, the other screens environment nutrition Again, they're not diagnostic. It's more to look for patterns. Uh, look at your diet. For example, if B vitamins comes up, it could be maybe you need to alter nutritionally what you're eating, or it could be that you have blockages or imbalances in your body that you are consuming B vitamins, but your body's not able to process them. And so again, it's really about looking for patterns and looking at the overall health picture to see what that might mean. Um, same with environment, doesn't mean that something is necessarily in your body. It could be in your, in your body field, an older toxin that's residing there. And if it is, that can cause health issues. So it's important to clear those energetic imprints. It's funny you talked about breathing because I had to take a nap and I had a really nice meditation where um, you know I turned inward and today I feel back to normal. So sometimes it just takes also you know the mind-body connection uh, to work together right to to feel better and combat stress. Absolutely and I think we go outward a lot and yeah. when something happens Sometimes the last person that we listen to is ourselves. And I think that inner knowing and intuition, we all have it. And basically when I chose to try this out, I just at that point listened to my intuition. My brain got out of the way. I stopped trying to figure it out. And I said, you know, this feels right. I'm going to give it a shot. And it was a great decision. Um, and you know, all of those emotions that you talk about, there's a, a scale and love is the highest frequency, love and enlightenment. And then you have fear, stress, 
shame, guilt, those are all low frequency emotions. And what's interesting, when I was teaching uh, foreign language in my earlier years, I started to research the different languages and why kids were having a hard time. And I thought it was the vocabulary, I thought it was the accent, but languages are also spoken at different frequencies. Mm. And the UK English and the American English, for example, very different frequency levels. And so the brain can have a harder time processing those sounds for that reason, which is something that I didn't know. Um, every organ can be measured in a Hertz level as to what frequency it is, as well as viruses and illness. So ideally you want to be at the highest frequency possible and bring things to you in that frequency. And the same thing for healing. You want to get your body into a higher frequency place. So that means positive emotions, live foods, you know, good diet, not processed foods, et cetera, because there's a correlation across the board of, of pretty much everything um, in a frequency, I guess, uh, term. Yeah, fear is one of those frequencies that I feel a lot of us experience sometimes. We, we worry, we think things are going to go wrong and we live in that place. But as soon as you kind of replace fear with with love or hope or just just like kind of just tweaking your brain a little bit, it makes all the difference, right? <laughs> it does. It does. And sometimes it's, it's interesting when people do the scan and we have these stories around, well, I'm like this because of this and this happened and whatever the story is. And when you do the scan, it, it will resonate um, with your experience. But oftentimes there are things that we haven't considered because we our logic has gotten in the way and we push things out of our memory and we're not taking into account other things. So when you when you look at the scan, it will prioritize. You could have a lot going on, but there are only a few things that you should really address at a time. You don't want to try to address everything. And so the top five, you know, uh, issues will come up or imbalances and then you look at emotions and for example something like willpower you know can come up and people might say well I have a lot of willpower I don't have any problem with my willpower I you know I can stay on a diet and I and it's not really about that because if you have too much willpower you can continue on a path that may not be the best because you have such good willpower you know a diet that's not working you just keep going and going because you believe oh. it's gonna work and sometimes you need to stop and adjust and, and look at what's happening and get back into balance. Maybe willpower isn't the answer. Maybe listening to your body is, is the way to go. Um, mm -hmm. And on the life journey screen, it's a great screen as far as where you're at in life, uh, what your conscious and subconscious mind are doing, and your belief system, your chakras, your journey. And when, again, when you look at that pattern and you know, say you're an entrepreneur and you have a business and you kind of are getting stuck in certain areas, that scan will lay it out for you and it will show you where, if not in your conscious mind, your subconscious mind, you're not allowing yourself to move forward. So mm -hmm. it's kind of like a mirror where you get an objective view of what's happening with you. So after I did my scan, I did receive a box of infuseuticals. So let's talk about the remedies given and how they aid in improving health. Sure. So do you know anything about homeopathy? Have you ever tried? A little bit, it? yes. Okay. So there's a little bit of a correlation with homeopathy in that um, with homeopathy, you take a sus down frequency of a, say, a toxin or a virus. When you put it into the body, it's a frequency and a communication with information that will activate your immune system to respond to that toxin. And so what Peter Frazier and Harry Massey, who were the founders of Nest, did is instead of introducing a toxin to create a, a response, they did uh, a study of ideal frequencies and healthy frequencies of tissues and organs in the body, imprinted them into mineral infused water, mm -hmm. and that's what the infaceutical is. Mm -hmm. And so, for example, if you have someone say with, you know, post-traumatic stress, they saw or experienced an event, and then suddenly they're in this energetic loop of thoughts and feelings, anxiety, the infaceutical, if you, if you take the drops, it will send messaging into that energetic block to clear it and rebalance so that it goes back to its healthy state. So you're really healing the body from a frequency and energetic approach versus a biochemical approach. Mm -hmm. And what kind of feedback have you had from people trying this? Because I'm sure it's been pretty uh, life-changing. 
It has, it has. I have people that are in different a range of severity with different issues that they are challenged with. Most people will come to me as I did with myself after they've tried absolutely everything and you know, things that they were more familiar with, herbs, vitamins, different types of practitioners and just did not or were not able to heal. And so I've had uh, generally what I'll get back initially is a lowering of stress levels, um, people's uh, overall outlook improves. It's really important to get out of fight or flight mode when you're trying to heal. If you're constantly in stress, mm -hmm. uh, it's very, very hard for the body to repair. Um, also getting people's energy levels up is the number one priority. You need to have enough energy to heal emotionally and physically. And if you don't, your body will use that energy just to kind of get through the day and go to work and do what you need to do and doesn't have enough to heal. So increased energy, overall better feeling of well-being. And then you have uh, people with pain syndromes that that seems to improve. Um, sometimes that can take a little bit more time, but the foundational work really emotionally and physically, people feel a shift quickly mm -hmm. and then there are the actual issues that they have begin to shift as well mm -hmm. um, but I, I have a lot of people that will say I've tried everything and nothing worked and this is the first time that they're seeing improvement which is pretty exciting yeah, uh, to be absolutely. able to experience that yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I always like to end the show on an uh, inspirational note. So for our viewers or anyone watching that maybe is standing in their own way, maybe they're their own worst enemy and they're blocking blessings and abundance from coming into their lives. What would you say to encourage them or to help them kind of get through that? I would say day to day, there's so much uh, exposure to negativity, uh, toxins, the news, if you watch the news, um, sometimes influences of other people, um, to first look at what you're exposing yourself to, your information diet, who you associate with, and then your worldview. When you wake up in the morning, what are the messages going through your mind? What are you telling yourself? And before you go to sleep, those are the most powerful times when your subconscious gets programmed. And to start reframing or looking at those messages, maybe where they came from and, and becoming aware of them. And there are lots of tools uh, out there to start shifting into a higher, more positive frequency, such as the nest work, the infoceuticals. You can also listen to frequency infused music. Um, our portal has uh, a lot of free options there, as well as education around energy healing. So start educating yourself, using tools, meditation's great. Some people can't meditate, they just have a really hard time with it. Mm -hmm. So you can just listen to frequency music to repattern your brain, uh, get outside in nature, um, all the really basic things that sometimes, we, you know, I think we've gotten away from with all of this technology and everything going on in the world, getting back to basics and try to do things that are in a high frequency, high frequency emotion, high frequency activities. Mm, I think I think that's really great advice. And for any of our viewers that are watching that want to try bioenergetics or work with you personally, uh, how sure. can they do so? Sure. So my website is Synergy Bioenergetic Wellness. And you can uh, do a scan remotely, and I do Zoom uh, consultations, so that's available. And also the Nest Health website has uh, a lot of information. There's uh, a few movies, Choice Point movie and others that Harry Massey has made. Uh, there's a Living Matrix book and movie. I think beginning this journey and educating yourself, there's a lot available, a lot of it's free. And I would encourage people to start exploring the energy side of healing as well as whatever else they're doing as an adjunct to their modalities. Oh, very nice. We're going to link all that information for our viewers. But Lisa, Super. thank you so much for being on the show today. I think this is great work that you're doing. It's very interesting and it's non-conventional, right? It's a non-conventional approach that links the mind and body together to work together. So I love it. I, I think it's it's very interesting. But thank you thank so much for being yes, on the show. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook. Hey, you can fly higher than the sky